What we are setting out to do is incredibly difficult. This is Zach Dell. He's working to fix one of today's most pressing problems. Our aging electric grid can't keep up with modern power demand. If you look at the grid today, it's made up of generation, transmission, and distribution. There's a bunch of work going into better forms of power generation, solar, wind, hydroelectric, geothermal, nuclear. But if you look at transmission and distribution, it's kind of been a neglected category in terms of technology. One of the biggest issues with the grid is congestion. We're running out of capacity on the wires that move our electricity, leading to stalled energy projects and grid failures when demand spikes. Zach leads a startup, Base Power, that's working on a solution. If poles and wires move energy through space, batteries move energy through time. The promise of battery storage to increase grid capacity has led to a proliferation of efforts to deploy batteries to the grid. Base is one of the companies working on this and is racing to build an interconnected battery network to redistribute power across the grid and better match supply and demand with the wires we already have. And so we see the technology we're developing as a really effective alternative to building out more transmission and distribution. But BASE's ambitions are much bigger than batteries. I went to Austin, Texas to learn more about BASE's plan to transform the grid, <laughs> not from inside, but from the outside in. This is the field report. What's interesting about BASE is how fast they're executing. Launched just over a year ago, they already have thousands of customers and a team of over 100 people. So this is where the whole team sits right here. We've got hardware, software, operations, growth. So you are, you're building this company. It's gonna dramatically transform the grid. Let's just start there. What's your vision for BASE? So if you look at the grid today, it's highly underutilized. It's built for peaks, which happen very sparingly across the year. And we want to make the system way more efficient by more intelligent use of electrons at the time they're needed, at the place that they're needed. This is BASE's battery. They charge it when demand on the grid is low and provide electricity in backup power as a service to residential customers. But when its batteries aren't backing up homes, BASE uses them to provide power back to the grid when demand spikes. And what you're seeing here is our Gen 1 product. It's a wall-mounted product. We developed uh, pretty quickly a ground-mounted alternative that we call Gen 1.5. Our next-gen battery, which we're developing in-house, designed by BASE, manufactured by BASE, will have the same ground-mounted configuration, but more power, more energy, and of course, more cost-effective for us. BASE is hardly the only company developing battery storage to support the grid. But most of the competition is building massive battery systems located near power plants or substations. BASE thinks their approach is faster. So if you want to go get a utility-scale battery grid-connected, you have to apply for what's called the interconnection queue. It can take anywhere between 3 and 10 years to get through the interconnection queue. But because BASE is installing batteries residentially, they can get batteries on the grid in weeks or even days. This means they need to install a lot of them to build meaningful capacity. But when networked together, their battery fleet functions as a distributed energy resource that BASE can use to sell electricity back to the grid. So in orange, you see power from the grid. Blue, you see power from storage. When prices start to spike, the batteries discharge, right? So we offset power from the grid with, with power from the batteries. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Here's our rain chamber that we built. We simulate the batteries in different rain conditions, basically making sure that these batteries can handle all of the elements. So you can see, you know, we've got a small thermal chamber in here. You'll see a bunch more in the back in the electrical lab, uh, but we do a bunch of kind of mechanical testing in here. So you're doing everything here? Yep. Everything's done here? Yep. Uh, well, we do have a warehouse, uh, and that's where all the kitting and the packing and the kind of final assembly uh, happens, and it's really like where we run all of the last mile logistics out of. Like we said before, BASE needs to install a lot of batteries very quickly. So one of their biggest challenges is scaling their deployment operation. So this is our main Austin warehouse. It's where we put the batteries on the pallet, the inverter, the transfer switch, kind of all of the pieces that the electricians need to be able to complete the install. 
After the batteries are prepped, they're loaded onto a truck that drops them off at the installation sites. The next day, teams of electricians drive out to those homes to do the installations. The process is both electrical and technical as the batteries get connected to the home and a bases network. So we own the entire process. We design the battery, we manufacture the battery, we install it ourselves, we warehouse it, we do all the last mile, we own it, we operate it, we sell power to the homeowner. Because we do all of these things, we'll be able to land batteries on the grid much faster and much more cost-effectively than the competition, which will enable us to sell electricity to the homeowner at a rate that, that no one can compete with. We went from doing sub one install a week, and now we're doing about 100 a week. So we're doing between 20 and 25 installs a day. So far, BASE has installed over 4,000 batteries around Austin, Houston, and Dallas. But to scale beyond Texas, BASE has to navigate the grid's utility system, one that hasn't necessarily been designed to reward innovation. So then that poses the question of, well, why haven't we innovated with regards to the grid? And the answer actually, I think, is mostly a regulatory problem. If you look at the regulated utilities in the US, they're not incentivized to innovate, they're incentivized to build. And so what I believe and why we started the company is we need to embrace technology at the utility level. To scale nationally, BASE is partnering with utilities, offering its battery service to their customer bases and helping them balance their local grids. They've already begun this with two member-owned utilities in Texas, partnerships they see as a model for rapidly expanding their battery network and modernizing the national grid. What we're trying to do is lay the foundation for the electric era. Our vision is to build America's modern power company. We want to develop the technology to deploy energy solutions on the grid faster and more cost-effectively than anything that exists today. What was inspiring about being at base was to see the optimism of the young and fast-growing team it's this type of energy we need if we're going to meet today's biggest challenges. Not by following the same playbook and hoping for better results by tweaking at the margins, but by empowering entrepreneurs like Zach and the team at BASE to innovate and build new solutions. We think that by building the technology that we're working on today, we can unlock that next wave of abundance in America. And it's incredibly fun and energizing to know that you're working on a problem of this magnitude. If you look at the history of humanity, quality of life was driven by an energy breakthrough. The steam engine, coal, natural gas, wind and solar. By making power more affordable and more reliable, you make people's lives better. That is our mission here.